I've got Heidi out and she's getting ready to head home. So we want to put a little bit on tape, show you where she finished up at. Um, you know, as I said in week one, we don't change personality and she's quirky. And I know you love that about her, you know, um, some of those quirkiness may get a little bit over the top sometimes, but I think a lot of times when you just tell her, no, quit, she kind of settles down. So, you know, just be patient with her because she does have some, you know, stuff that might be a little annoying. And, and I think it's just probably personality traits. Um, you know, she's probably going through that teenage phase of, you know, well, if I don't, if I don't get corrected for it, I don't have to do it, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, be patient, but also um, be, con be concise with your commands and make sure that she follows through. That's the biggest thing because she is a puppy. As long as you follow through, she'll follow through. And I mean, I know she's got a ways to go to be the easygoing, loving, you know, Heidi that we all know she's gonna turn into, but she's still a puppy. And a lot of this personality and everything like that is just over the top right now. But I think it'll get there. All right, Miss Hides, ready? Okay, let's go. Good. You and your little trot. Come here. Good sit. Look at there. Stay. I had to lick my hand to do a stay. No, you don't. All the way out to the end of the leash, you can stand out here and talk, and she should sit. Now, if you're in the shop or if you're talking to somebody on a walk, I would recommend much closer, about halfway, right about here is the distance you want because you want to be able to visit with them but you want to be able to keep an eye on her stay all the way out to the end of the leash no you tug she should tug back she's working up to that minute sometimes she gets all the way sometimes it's about 30 45 seconds no but she's she's trying real hard to figure this out On the cold days this week, she came in and worked in the office with me. Okay. And checked in and out dogs and answered the phone. She did very good. As long as I kept an eye on her and didn't have any paper go strewing off the desk. Because then the paper was a fair game, huh? All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Hurry, hurry. No, ma'am. She reached up and nibbled on my fingers. I just told her no and she quit. Good. Stay. I like to do a lot of talking at the end of the leash. And since I'm talking on camera, that makes something easier. But a lot of times if I'm out here and it's just me and her, I'm going, good, Heidi. Good girl, that's really good. Because I want her to understand that when somebody says good, she has to keep doing what she's doing. Now moving side to side. I don't mind that head moving, but when those feet start moving, I get in, get, no. Get ready for a correction, stay. That was a big one. What was that jump, huh? I think she was chasing my shadow, no. That was strange because there was nothing out her here for her to break because of that. All the way back. Good girl, okay. Okay is her okay, that means she can get up. All right, wanna go for a run? This ought to be fun, come on. Good girl! I think I outran you. That does that surprises me. All right. Easy. Slow. Come on. Come on. Got to keep walking just slow. Slow is hard. I know it's hard. Good. Good. Okay, that was good. 
That was really good. I'm so proud of you. Okay. I'm so proud of you. Yes, I am. Stay. We're going to do another sit stay because I did not get to down with her. She was still doing too much fit pacing at the end of the beginning of the week where she was tiptoeing back and forth. She wasn't sitting there solid and she wasn't sitting for a minute. So working on the next stage or the next command down is not an, an apt time for that. We want to get her good solid on sit stay before we start working down. And dogs need to follow the command we give them. So if I give her, good girl, okay. A sit command, she needs to sit there until I tell her to do something different. And in the office, when we were sitting there, if I'd say sit and stay, then she would kind of get up and down and up and down. And I'd say, no, sit. And she'd have to sit there. And I'd say, okay. And when I'd say, okay, and she'd lay down, I wouldn't correct her. So I know she knows kind of that she can lay down once she's been there for a while. But I want her to kind of do that naturally on her own once I've said okay. Ready? Get it. Howdy, come. Sit. Thank you. All right, ready? Get it. Good girl, come. Sit. Good. Get it. Oh, you didn't see that one go. Sit. Got to be careful how you throw. Ready? Get it. Good. Heidi, come. I need a bigger treat. Sit. No. Ah, uh -uh. no. 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 Good. She gets bouncy. I just step on the leash. Tell her no. Get it. Good. Heidi, come. Sit. Ah. Uh -uh. Don't you get that close. Sit. Sit. Good. That's a good distance. You know. <laughs> Jaws. Get it. Heidi, come. Easy. Don't you take my fingers this time. Thank you very much. That was nice. So, um, you know, get it, come games are a lot of fun to play. And, and since she's so active and stuff like that, I would do those with balls or with toys. I would throw them out, get it, come. And if she brings the toy, fine. If she doesn't, don't worry about it. Have another toy on standby and throw it. And I'll kind of go over that a little bit with you when you pick her up. But you know, let her chase the toys. Place. Good. And then when she comes back, make her sit. And I keep her on leash because that bouncing is what she likes to do when she gets back. And just like I did midway through, you can just step on the leash and say, no, don't do that. And then when she jumps, she self-corrects herself. That's the easiest way to get her to stop jumping on somebody or on you is to just step on the leash and make her get down. And the more often you tell her no and off, the less likely she is to jump on you. All right, Miss Hyde. Heidi. Okay, get it. Heidi, place. Good. Sit. Heidi, down. We do do downs. We just got to get it. Get the treat all the way down. Good down. Good girl. Good. Try it again. Heidi, down. Good down, look at there. Good, good girl. We don't stay, but that's okay. Get it, place. <gasps> yeah, no place. Okay, ready? Hattie, place. Yeah, <laughs> all right, Goofy. Like I said, Heidi-isms. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to create our own little category uh, of, of Heidi, uh, Heidi little quirks. <laughs> but, you know, she's done a really good job. She's absorbed those commands. So it's going to be easier to work with her, you know. Um, and I know she's going to do some back and forth travel um, and stuff. But we'll talk about all that when you pick her up. She's doing good at doors and gates. Um, you know, she's walking great all the way around this building. Even with the traffic out front, she doesn't mind. We've gotten pretty close to the road. Um, I wanted to make sure she's comfortable because I know kind of where you guys are located, it's going to be a little harder to get her to exercise if she goes to work with you. But I think overall, she's done a really nice job. So um, we've got to get her cleaned up, give her a bath, get her all cleaned up. But we'll see how she does when you get here tomorrow.